Welcome to example 2 of partial fractions. In this example, we're going to talk about how we solve partial fractions questions with repeated linear factors. Okay, so this fraction, okay, we're going to split up into partial fractions. So the first thing that we will do is to analyze the denominator. Now in this case, this denominator is already factorized. Okay, so but the factors are repeated. Okay, so there's a repeated linear factor here. So based on what we said earlier on, okay, um, for repeated factors, right, we have to split them up into two simpler factor. Okay, so there'll be um, a over x minus two plus b over x minus two square. Alright, we have to put a square here because um, it will be repeated. Okay, so there will be two. Alright, so what is the next thing to do? Well, of course, we multiply throughout to flatten the equation. Did, didn't we do that just now? Okay, so we'll do the same thing again. So we'll f multiply throughout, okay, by x minus 2 square. So to the left hand side, we'll multiply by x minus 2 square. To the right hand side, we're going to multiply by x minus 2 square here, x minus 2 square here. Okay, every term. Alright, every single term here, we multiply throughout by x minus 2. This is called multiply throughout. Alright, so what are we left with here? Okay, what, what are we left with here? So the left hand side will be left with x minus 4, isn't it? So for the right hand side, well, this and this will cancel off and we will be left with one bracket. Okay, and for the B, well, simply cancel off, isn't it? Okay, so no more. Right, so the next thing to do is obviously to solve for A and B, isn't it? So it, it looks rather easy here, isn't it? Okay, to solve for B, all we have to do is to substitute in X equals to 2. So to the left hand side, we'll have 2 minus 4, which will give us a negative 2. Okay, to the right hand side, A will disappear because 2 minus 2 will give me a 0 and 0 multiplied by A will give me a 0. So, I'll be only left with B. So, B will be equal to negative 2. Right? So, now we are only left with, of course, A to find. So, how to find A? Well, very simple as well. So, we just sub in, let X be equal to 0. Why 0? Well, it doesn't matter. You can use 1, you can use 2, you can use 1 million if you like. Doesn't matter. Okay, because there's only one equation with one unknown a okay so um let x be zero will be the easiest way out so zero minus four the left hand side will be minus four um for the right hand side zero minus two so i have negative two a plus b and since b is negative two as we found earlier on okay we get this equation and of course this negative two when we shift it over we have negative two so negative two is equal to negative two a and therefore a will be equal to positive one Okay, so after we have found our A and B, then we say that, well, this fraction of x minus 4 over x minus 2 square can be written as 1 over x minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 2 square. Okay, so this is the so-called partial fractions for these fractions. Okay, now what you can do is to pause this video at this point now, okay, copy this down and try to do this on your own. Try to make this subtraction into a single fraction so that you can counter check and check if it works. Okay, so for partial fractions with repeated linear factors, always always remember that you have to repeat the roots all right now in the syllables okay in the a math syllables for all levels the most you will see will be for up to power two all right but that doesn't mean that you won't see questions like this all right now i suppose some schools will still go ahead and teach you this Okay, now there's not much difference from what we have done earlier on. Okay, the only difference is now there are three repeated linear roots. Okay, three of them re being repeated three times, and therefore when we split them up into partial fractions, okay, there'll be three of them. Alright, so A, 
okay over the power one b over power two and of course c over power three okay so if it is being repeated for three times you know that there will be three fractions okay a sum of three fractions all right and the power is in ascending order like this okay so for power four well i suppose you guessed it all right there'll be four all right such fractions okay so start from power one to power two c power three and of course lastly d power four all right so how are we going to do this? Well, it will be exactly the same way as we have done earlier on. Multiply throughout to flatten it and therefore find A, B, C, and D. Okay? So, um, but I suppose this um, will be quite rare, okay, for uh, your examinations, okay? I mean, school examinations. Um, because this is actually a rather tedious exercise, as you can see. Okay? But nevertheless, uh, the whole idea is to highlight to you that, well, it is not that difficult, even if you raise the power to 5. Alright?